Welcome back to my continuing adventures on SnowRunner on PlayStation 4, episode 60, with me, Mr. Sealy P. So I decided at the end of the last episode, rather than just ending it there, I was going to be a proper company man. Um, I wanted to finish off the company contracts, uh, and to finish off the one that I was on, I had to deliver two metal beams to the oil rig site, the drill drilling site, and then I had to deliver the oil rig... How does it? Whichever. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm kind of part way out there now. I'm heading... I think I'm going to go left now. Uh, just thinking of the route round. Maybe when I bring the, the other bit, I'll come further round. Um, but if I just go south now... Should be right. I know that there's a gap there between the rocks, as you can see as we're turning. Might be a little bit tight, and there's a tree behind it, but I'm pretty sure the tree I can push down. I think I can. Um, so yeah, I just want to get these done. I'm gonna once these are done. There are a few peripheral jobs all around the map, um, various different tasks here and there, just odds and ends to mop up. I think all of the maps. I've got a few of these, but I wanted to get all of the company jobs done. So that'll be um, Alaska done. Russia done, uh, I'll say Russia but Tamir Russia done um, and now uh, Michigan, all the company jobs then I'm going to move back over to Lake Cove I didn't do a lot on there when it first came out but I want to have a bit of a bang around on that and pick up a few contracts look and see what's available contract, like company contract wise on that um, and I didn't want to do that before finishing off all of this so I thought rather than just leave it then the end of the last one and say yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do the other ones. Whether you're bothered about watching it or not is entirely up to you. You can if you want. So all I'm going to do in this one, yeah, I thought if, if I thought it flattened, um, going to deliver these metal beams. Then I'm going to go and grab. Mm, I'm not sure what I want to get to transport the other bit. The other bit of the um, oil rig section that I need to collect is from up by the garage. The warehouse up by the garage here on Smithfield Dam, so I haven't got to go too far. Um, but I don't know whether to use the PT16. I might use the Derry Longhorn actually. Um, 4520, is it? 4520, I'm sure it's 4520. This Tiger is brilliant. Stick it in low, and it just keeps going. I could have gone the long way around, and I'm thinking when I do the next section, because I'm going to have uh, maybe the step deck trailer, I haven't decided what I'm going to put it on. But, um, yeah, I think I think what we'll do is we'll go the slightly longer way around. There is another semi kind of shortcut, but again, I don't know whether I'll get away with it. I mean, I meant what I said the other day, I, I need to find another... 10 hours in the day I downloaded that new Microsoft Flight Sim that everyone's been talking about the other day into my PC but my controller I don't know if you, it depends what videos you've been watching of mine my um, Xbox controller that I have plugged into my um, PC just packed up it wasn't a, an officially licensed Xbox one it was a kind of third party one um, I should next day or two be getting a new one um, I, I keep doing this a massive thank you big shout out to Mr Dalek JD for hooking me up he's going to sort me out a controller he's got loads of Xbox controllers knocking around so he's going to sort me one out uh, because the flight sim won't work with a P, uh, PS4 controller so it will need to be an Xbox one anyway flight sims are my childhood I mean I just as I mentioned before I was an air cadet so playing flight sim games and um, I just loved them loved them um, there's a VR one for Ace Combat I mean, Ace Combat on PS4 I just adored I know it wasn't a flight sim per se um, but Ace Combat 7 I think it's 7 I've got on VR blimey it's incredible um, so yeah looking forward to that I might do a bit on that whether I'll record any of that I don't know I might um, but that's the thing I love playing this um, I love obviously Farming Simulator is my go-to game. Um, I've been doing a bit of Gran Turismo because I've been doing a bit of racing with CDG. 
Um, I was given, and this is terrifying, at Christmas by Mr. Dark JD, he got me a copy of the Spider Man game. Uh, got me a code for it. I have never used that code. It still sat on the, the Spider Man, the card thing he got me, on my pile of stuff to do. I never installed it because I knew I wouldn't get around to playing it. Um, like I said, the new um, Assassin's Creed Vikings one is coming out soon. Again, I want to play that. But I know if I put a ton of hours into that, something's got to give, something suffers. Um, I want to go back and play some more Assassin's Creed Black Flag because I absolutely adored playing that. Do a few videos on that. But again, I don't know where I'm going to find the hours in the day. Um, it's a pity, but it is what it is. Um, this is actually... I know I'm kind, of, I'm kind of chatting about other stuff while I'm doing this. Um, this is a very reliable vehicle and I'm, I just find it's kind of a bit more intuitive. Now I've put a bit more time back into the game again because obviously I hadn't played it for a while. I need to get into the habit more of knocking the, um, the clutch a bit more because when it starts to get bogged down I need to get into the habit of knocking that clutch and getting it to drop drop a gear because I do bog down a little bit but we're nearly there um, we'll get this dropped off and then like I say we'll go for the next section and we'll bring that as well having a blast I'm dreading Lake Cove a little bit I'm not dreading it, it's, it's fun it's a, it's a challenging environment but I know that some of the jobs and contracts in there are going to kind of take their toll a bit <laughs> on my sanity, I think. Anyway, haven't really had a bit of a, you know, haven't had a bit of an open kind of, how's everyone doing at the moment? How's things where you are? I know the, the, the world situation at the moment is still a little bit odd, a bit bleak, you know, lots of countries going into a second phase and... Yeah, I don't know, it's weird. Hope everyone's well, hope you're faring well. Okay, so. Cargo management. Huh? I don't want to... I'm not collecting cargo... What's happened there? I'm at the right place, out with the old. Delivers to inside metal beams. This is where I need to be. Next bit's the oil rig drill. Why is that not? I don't understand. Um. What have I not done? It's going to be something really obvious, isn't it, that I've forgotten. I'm not loading fuel. Do I need to come off of this again? This is definitely the right spot. It's because my vehicle's over the, the bit. I'm not quite sure. I'm sure it is. <laughs> Maybe I should just edit this out. <laughs> if you don't see any of this... Well, you won't know you haven't seen any of this, will you? It'll just cut to me unloading. Right. Dyson Diesel. Out with the old. Yeah, that's where I've got to deliver it to. Oh, I didn't have tracking on. That's what it was. Start tracking. I think it might have just been as simple as that. I didn't have the tracking on, so it wasn't registering that that was what I had to deliver. Could it be that simple? Oh, I'm not turning this round. I'm going to go around the loop again. <laughs> I could just turn it round here, but... Let's go round. Let's go round again. Sorry, I won't. <laughs> I won't subject you to that. Now the metal beams I had to collect from the other side, over the other side of the river. I could have come across the river like I did in the last episode, but I decided against it. <laughs> I just, I, just, I couldn't go through that again. Right, please work. There we go. It was just that. Job done. Now, what I am going to do, I'm, I'm not going to do this all on screen though. Um, I'm going to take the trailer back because I'm going to get the money for it. 
All we need to do now then is go to there we go the service hub. I said warehouse, but I mean service hub. We'll collect the um, oil rig drill and we'll head back. Nice. I did decide to go with the Derry Longhorn. 4520. Uh, we're going to go and get the um, oil rig drill from up here at the service hub. And then we're going to... Now, the thing about this is this is not the long way around now because obviously this is a much more straightforward route from where we are. That requires five slots to load, doesn't it? I did originally bring over the Western Twin Star... Twin Steer... Twin Star? Twin Steer... Um, but it wasn't enough slots on the bed on the back because I thought I would really use that very much. So I'd give that a go. But So, this I also found to be incredibly capable on various different maps I've used it on. Um, I've got a load of different options on heavy vehicles now, but I thought I'd use this one. Uh, step deck as opposed to the um, sideboard. The sideboard, a lot of people said, is better because if you get a bit of an angle on, the load doesn't slide because it's sort of held inside by the sideboard. But I personally have found the sideboard trailer to be a little bit higher off the ground, a little bit more top-heavy. I just prefer personally using the step deck um, because it's a little bit wider, a little bit lower to the ground. That can cause you problems because you can bottom out, you can get stuck on bumps and stuff like that. But I found with a strong enough kind of power plant up power plants up front it's not too much of a problem but anyway once this is delivered that's it that's all the company jobs done on these three uh, and then it will like I say I'll be going over and we'll check out on um, Lake Cove and see um, I've done a I've done a few bits and bobs over on that um, just basically just been banging around in the snow and kind of getting used to the environment and trying out the new Tuz Action, um, the Ford. As far as I'm aware, when the new the new map comes out, part two of phase one comes out, the new map has got the new Tuz Warthog, I believe is going to be available. And I think on that map, there's some extra upgrades for the Ford. I think there's a better engine. I'm going to go straight on here. I always used to go left and right. And then, I can't remember whose video I watched, they came tonking straight through and I thought, I don't know why I've done that before. Um, I mean, is it worse than going the other way? Eh, probably not, because the other way is quite waterlogged. Although this is a bit muddy. I've got a wall drive on. I will stick it in low and diff lock if I need to at any point, but at the moment we're still moving, so we should be okay. And I'll, what we'll do is have a look at the map in a little while, when we get a bit further on because I do need to make a decision on the route. I'm not going to go the way I took the um, the Taiga because this is wider. And I, don't, I mean, maybe I would get through those rocks, but it is a little bit of a bumpier route, I guess, and with this longer trailer, that might not work so well. Um, I can see myself taking the long route round over the top out to the northwest of the map, but again, I don't know, we'll see. I might get lucky with the route I want to take, but we'll, we'll see how we get on with that. What I love about this truck as well is the steering. It's such a tight turn angle because the rear axle um, steers as well. You do still have to allow enough room for the trailer, whatever you're pulling, obviously, but it just turns really well. Compared to the... Um, oh, what's the one that's found to be an absolute nightmare? The Azoz. Azoz? Azov. Yeah, that one. Um, fantastic vehicle, but blimey. I'm just thinking ahead, actually. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of the route. If there's anything... I don't think there's anything that I'm going to get stuck on. I might slow down a little bit, because there's a couple of steep-ish hills. But I'm just thinking of any potential hazards that I might get... I'm going to get bottomed out on it, I don't think. Hope I'm not trying to avoid that rock, although I'm just going to pull the whole trail over it anyway. Might get a bit of a bump now. Oh, okay, that was too bad. 
moving on. I don't mind so much with the beacons being on during the daytime because I don't really notice them. At night though, I have to turn them off, they drive me mad. at this point it's just a bit of a grind isn't it it's um compared to the last episode trying to get across the river and that whole i love the way the suspension moves over all these rocks i still it still baffles me well no it doesn't baffle me i i understand the fact that certain games suit certain people um and some people come on and play this and find it to be quite slow and monotonous and they prefer fast paced fast action um you know, the sort of people that charge around on Call of Duty quick scoping, doing something like this, which can be quite slow and pondersome. The pondersome tea, well, they're not even tedious, I don't think it is, but some people do find it. They just want to go faster, and you know, um, this at times is more of a more of a thinking man's kind of thing. Was thinking, you not be so careful, you're a thinking person. I don't know. You have to give it more thought. Um, so I, I do understand when people say it's horrible, didn't like it, it's a load of rubbish. Um, but again, like with a lot of games, I think when you play it for a while, you do start to take things for granted. You know, the graphics on this are great. And when you look at the physics, when you look at all the animation of the moving parts and the suspension travel and the wheels going over lumps and bumps, and it's brilliant. It's really, really good. But you just kind of forget, you just get on with it because you know, your focus is the job, I want to get the job done right, so what I'm going to do now here, I can go right, long route round, or if I go straight across and through that gap in the trees there's a shortcut that leads kind of up and over the ridge a little bit, my main concern is this initial bit it's quite steep it's going to be narrow regardless it might be a little bit twisty turny but I really don't know whether or not I'm going to get the initial bit. So I see here, I can go up to the sort of north and round the outskirts or cut across the middle here. In all honesty, it doesn't cut off a huge amount, but it's worth a try, you know, if it cuts off something, why not? If not, I'll just back up and walk over the longer. I do have options. The worst thing would be if, if, if this was the only route, then we might... Yeah, that's steep, isn't it? <laughs> and fairly narrow. We've got wall driving diff lock on. We're in low. It just keeps moving. Oh, that's a bit of a slide. No, let's get over onto the track. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. I'm just travel with that if I can. And let's just keep going. Again, if I can. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Still moving. Oh, every time. I've got to stop opening my mouth. Every time I say, yeah, oh, it's going right. Nope. Winch. Where do I want to winch from? Oh, that's not good. The lift off the ground. Uh, not quite sure that's what I wanted to do. Come on. No, I tried for ages. <laughs> think anywhere. I tried winching for all different trees. I, I just needed to get I just over that rise. I would have been fine, but no, didn't want to know. Um, unfortunately, what we will do though is I just need to back out of here. If I winch from the back of the trailer, 
That might last a little bit easier. Thank you. Uh, if I can just come out straight from here, then I'll just go right and we'll go around the loop around the outside. Winch. <laughs> Where's our winch from this time? Side back to the tree. There we go. Give us an extra bit of oomph. And that's the thing, isn't it? I, I probably, if I'd have gone around the long way round initially, I probably would have been most of the way there by now. But that's the fun of the game. It's better to have a go than never know. Now I know. Couldn't get round there. <laughs> Maybe with a different bit. What was stuck on? Oh. Tree stumps, tree roots. Logs. Come on. It just needs to break free of whatever it's caught on. There we go. I don't really want to go all the way back around there. I need to find a gap in the trees if I can. If I can find a gap, we'll cut through. That'll do. That'll do. Let's cut through there. And let's get on with it. We are losing the lights. I'm also uh, just amazed now thinking back to like episode one, episode two, episode three, you know. How far we've all come. Not just me playing the game, anyone playing the game. How many hours people have put into it, how many, you know, how many missions and maps and vehicles and, you know, all the different terrain we've been across and I, I still maintain what I loved about what I am loving what I do love about this game is how every single map has been different even within the same continent the Michigan maps have all been different the Alaska ones were all different they all brought different challenges different things you had to do and that's brilliant you know I know a lot of people still are dies in the wall spin tires mud runner fans and are still adamant the Mud Runner's a better game. I just think this, the variety that this bought, um, and a lot, a lot of people are saying, you know, we're, we're waiting on the phased releases now. And I think I mentioned it a while back. I'm sure I did. That what I think has caught the devs off guard was the fact that they've done all their planning for the development. They've done all their planning moving forward for the phased releases of different things. I don't think they even realised just how well received the game would be and just how, I mean they know how dedicated the fans are of the game, but just how many hours, how much time people were going to plough into this and get to a point where people have sat back and gone, okay I've done everything I can do at the moment, um, I'm now waiting. Now the PC guys obviously that's a bit different, you've got a few development stuff that, you know, there's a few maps been released. Um, there's a, a bit of stuff out there available for people that are looking at doing mods in a map making. There's a few things out there for you, for you guys to have a bit of a play around with. Um, and obviously mods. So for us on console, that's a little bit different. Um, but it was always going to be the case. We, we knew there was going to be that kind of gap. I think had I not taken the, the gap I took in playing the game... I probably would have got all the way through Lake Cove and I would have then stopped anyway. Unless I just went back on and started going around all the maps and clearing up all the little mop-up tasks, which I could have done. Just spent a bit of time doing that, absolutely. I have by no means completed any of this 100%. I've still got a load more stuff to do. But I know there are people out there that have. You know? But again, I go back to my comments from way, way, way back thinking about playing computer games playing arcade games as a youngster my rule of thumb for a game is how many hours have I got out of it gameplay wise if I think about what we used to go and play like I said Sega Rally games like that I mean you may be new to this you may not have heard me say this before going to arcades going to places where you're sinking a pound of time into a machine and getting a couple of rounds on a game or something if you could equate that to how much you spent in pounds, dollars, whatever it is your, your, your currency is, 
and then look at the amount of hours look at your cost per hour ratio and then say to yourself this has been worth every penny even if I have got to a point I've completed it I'm waiting for new stuff it has been absolutely worth every penny I paid for it I have had games that I've paid 40 50 quid for I've played three or four hours and gone you know what this is rubbish I'm never touching this again that is a complete waste of money this no way not in any way shape or form The end is in sight, we're just down there. Yeah, I should have come this way in the first place, really, shouldn't I? <laughs> Would have made more sense. And then that'll be it. Company contracts. Tick. Am I still going to come on off camera and honk around and do some bits of us? Probably. Like I said before, I'm, I'm really, really excited. I know a lot of people say, oh, you know, I don't know why people are getting so over the moon or excited or you know, why people are getting so stressed about mods coming. It's not that good, it doesn't really add that much more to the game. For me, I think just the off-roading experience, being able to use different vehicles, go onto a map and just bang around a map, just have a play, you know. Not necessarily even doing missions, but just to be able to go out and do a bit of mud plugging, a bit of rock crawling, a bit of that kind of stuff. I love that. So close, come on. I'm going to do the same with this, and I'm going to do it off camera as well, though. But I'm going to drive this back and sell the trailer. I mean, I could spend hours doing that, just go out into all the maps, drive out with a, a vehicle, and go and collect up all the trailers that I've got strewn around maps everywhere. Um, obviously, some of those trailers are out there for specific tasks and missions but loads of them I've just left when I've finished a contract and I'm like you know what that's okay I'm not driving away back with it but I, I could really should really I suppose I'm also deciding whether or not to do a bit of a cull in the garage whether to go through and start selling off vehicles I'm not using or haven't used in a long time but then there's always that risk that you'll get to a point or you'll get on a map and think oh you know what I could use and you've got rid of it so there's nothing to stop me buying it again, but and it's not causing the issue having them sitting there. Just means when you're looking for a vehicle, you have to scroll through a few more, but that's not a problem either. Hopefully, later on today, if you've enjoyed the, uh, if if you enjoyed the Gran Turismo video that CLG did the other day, where we both did a bit of practice and stuff, we're going to go and do something later on, hopefully together, and I'll film it as well. We've got a bit of a challenge we'd work on. And that is it. Done. Drilling operation is now underway. It's been a long time coming. But I got there. Colours as well. <laughs> Man. Okie dokie. It's a good feeling. I'll be off to the uh frozen wasteland of the Kola Peninsula. So, Dyson Diesel, all jobs done. Husky forwarding, all jobs done. Steel River Township, all jobs done. Like I say, there's a few bits and bobs. But, we have come to the end of this episode and on this map we're going to be heading over to Lake Cove for the next one, whenever that may be. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you're enjoying the continuing adventures. If you are, if you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.